What is up guys? Tabby here and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I have a brand new magical tag created by none other than Leanda Brooks, a fellow Harry Potter lover and YouTuber. It has 22 questions and I'm very excited to answer all of the questions and share it with you guys. But if you guys are not subscribed to Leander Brooks, definitely go check her out. She is so sweet, lots of wonderful content, and is definitely a lot better about uploading on more of a schedule than me. But without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get to these questions. So if you are interested, keep watching and let's get into it. So question number one, favorite magical potion slash drink. So I don't know if this means like what's my favorite potion and then what's my favorite drink. So I'm going to answer both. My favorite potion, I'm assuming this maybe means potion like my favorite potion in my collection, but I have to say my favorite potion is my aging potion for Fred and George. I mean, I think these are the most gorgeous potions that I have ever received and they're still my favorite. My favorite drink, I drink a lot of water, honestly. It's not very magical, uh, but really that's mainly what I drink because um, I'm assuming we're not talking about alcohol, so. <laughs> Question number two, favorite magical book? Oh, um, well, I have to say Harry Potter. Um, it doesn't say series, though, so I guess I have to pick one. Um, I guess I'm going to have to pick the first one because it introduced me to the Harry Potter series. So Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, it just introduced me into the wizarding world. It'll just forever have a special part in my heart. So yeah, I have to go with that one. Question number three, favorite magical TV series? Ooh, um, ooh, da 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 da. Vampire Diaries. Yes. Like, Damon Salvatore? Need I say more? <laughs> Number four, favorite magical movie? Oh, Practical Magic. I loved Practical Magic growing up. I'm not gonna lie, I seriously, as a kid, sat in front of a candle, blowing at it, trying to get it to light. It never did. It never did. It really was my favorite growing up, and it's still one of my favorite magical movies. Number five, favorite magical item in your collection. Oh my gosh, that is like asking me to pick my favorite kid. Oh my god. Um, I stare at my collection for 20 years, but I'm kind of going to take the easy way out of this question and say that this is my favorite item because it is my acceptance letter and seeing as how I waited a very, very, very long time for this to come and I finally got one um, from, from Cauldron Crates. <sighs> yes, this is definitely one of my favorite items. Uh, personalized and everything, so. It's, it's definitely up there. I, I, I couldn't pick a favorite, 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 so it's definitely up there. Number six, favorite magical person. This can be either a real person or a fictional character. I would have to say Luna Lovegood because she is unapologetically herself and she doesn't care what anybody thinks of her. Like... She kind of just stays true to herself no matter what. And I just, I love that about her. Number seven, favorite magical thing about yourself. Huh. That's even harder. I'm the most critical person of myself. I really am. I'm like my own worst enemy. Maybe just, uh, just, um... I don't know. <laughs> uh, my love of Harry Potter and my happiness of sharing 
this with you and my enthusiasm, I guess. My my over enthusiasm most of the time, maybe that's it. My over enthusiasm. <laughs> I think that would be the one. My over enthusiasm. <laughs> Okay, and we are to a new section, which is Harry Potter. The first one was general. I don't think I said that. Um, question eight. This is the Harry Potter section. Which house were you sorted in on Pottermore? Gryffindor. Thank God, because I think I would have chose that anyway. Question nine. What is your second undercover house? Oh, definitely Hufflepuff. Like, I think if I was ever truly sorted by the true sorting hat, he definitely would have put me in Hufflepuff. Gryffindor is who I've always wanted to be. Somebody who's brave and just goes after what they want, doesn't let anything hold them back, and, you know, who's just daring and everything. So, yeah, that's why I've always wanted to be Gryffindor, but totally undercover Hufflepuff and proud. Um, no, question number 10, favorite class at Hogwarts? Ooh, well, it definitely would not be Defense Against the Dark Arts because the teachers are all crazy. It would definitely have to be Charms. I think that would be such a fun class. And Professor Flitwick, which is, he seems like he would be such a fun teacher. Professor McGonagall seems like she would be really just strict uh, and Transfiguration just, I mean, it would be fun, but Charms, I think Charms would be way much more up my alley. So definitely Charms. Um, question 11, who at Hogwarts would be your best friend? Ooh, like I want to say Hermione, Ron, and Harry. But again, I don't think I would want to go jumping down holes with them. I would love to be best friends with Jenny or Luna. That would be really cool. Uh, 12, favorite villain. Oh, hmm. There are some really good villains. Uh, I have to give it to Voldemort. Like, there wouldn't be a Harry Potter without Voldemort. Like, you have to have Voldemort to have Harry Potter. Like, yeah, there's Umbridge, and you know, yeah, there's the Dursleys and Snape, and but I mean, Voldemort, he gets it. He's the top villain. Question 13, favorite Weasley. Ooh, wow. Oh, Ron, easy, he's part of the trio. You know what, Ron does not get the recognition he deserves. The trio would not be the trio without Ron. Like everybody's like, they wouldn't have made it without Hermione. Like Ron played such a big part throughout the entire series. So definitely Ron. 14, favorite shop in Diagon Alley. Oh, my God. Um, I want to say Ollivander's, but then you really only go there once for your wand. Mm, I have to give it to Flourish and Blots. Like, books. I love books. I mean... The next section is, would you rather, question 15, would you A, rather participate in the Triwizard Tournament or B, spectate the Triwizard Tournament? Oh, hands down, spectate the Triwizard Tournament. I would never, ever enter the Triwizard Tournament. I would, mm -mm, mm -mm, no, no, not enough money, glory, nothing. I would not fight a dragon, no. No, I'd rather sit there and laugh at the person trying to fight a dragon. <laughs> no. I no. That's my Hufflepuff coming through. See, I would want to be the person to would want to dry, fight a dragon. But then I, I would be the, the Hufflepuff laughing at the person who would want to fight a dragon. <laughs> Question 16. A take crab or B take goyle to the Yule Ball. That's really the same thing. To me, Crab and Goyle just kind of run together. Um, there really is no difference in my mind. Crab or Goyle are like the same, they're just, they're, they're just the same person to me. Um, uh, I guess Goyle? Yeah, because Crab tried to kill everybody in book seven. So I guess Goyle. Yeah, I guess Goyle. Um, 17, spend a day in the life of A, Dolores Umbridge, ew, or B, Rita Skeeter. Ooh. Okay, spend a day in the life. 
Now, if this was spend a day with, with, it would definitely have to be Rita Skeeter. I would not want to spend any time with Dolores Umbridge. I think I could stand Rita Skeeter. Now, spend a day in the life, I would have to go with Umbridge. I would ruin her life in a heartbeat. I would change everything. Oh, she would come back the next day, her life would be in shambles. Her office, ooh, every little cat plate would be torn down. I would paint it like black with, with dogs, dogs hanging on the wall. Any law or anything that she had passed, I would change it, change it. It would have to go. And ooh, I would make a law that pink, wearing pink, prohibited. You can't wear pink anymore. Ooh, that would be fun. Ooh, yes. Yes, I vote for that one. <laughs> Question 18. A, vomit snails, or B, lose the bones in your arm. Ugh. E. I think most people would go with vomit snails because like regrowing the bones in your arms is supposed to be very painful, but I hate vomiting. Like, thank God with both of my pregnancies, I never threw up. I know a lot of people probably just hated me with that. I never threw up, guys, thank God. Never had morning sickness, never. So lucky. Oh, I hate throwing up. I would have to lose the bones in my arms. I would I would have to. I would put up with the pain whether than throwing up snails. Uh, I I would lose my, I would lose the bones. Bye bye bones. Bye bye. Okay. And the last section is miscellaneous and there's four questions left. Question 19. If you could have a magical mythological pet, what would it be? Ooh, that's a good question. I would want a phoenix. Hands down, I would want a phoenix. They are so gorgeous and like healing power, strength of 10 men, phoenix, hands down. Question 20, if you could own any magical power, what would it be and why? Ooh, I've always wanted to be able to just teleport anywhere. Like that just seems amazing. Like you wouldn't have to worry about planes or cars or buses or trains or anything. Just being able to teleport or apparate and just bam, you're there. That would be the best power in the world, in my opinion. And question 21, if you could apparate, <laughs> where would you go? Um, I would go to London. I really want to go to London. I was really hoping we could do it for this for my birthday this year. It doesn't look like it. Hopefully one year. I really want to go to London. And question 22, what magical item is on your wish list? Ugh, what item is not? Um, oh, what item? Oh, I really, really want Slughorn's Hourglass and the replica of the Gryffindor Sword. Those are very expensive, so I'm assuming those will be on my wish list for a very long time. Uh, <laughs> So yeah, those are definitely two on my wish list. But yeah, that's all of the questions. I had so much fun. These are really good questions. Um, so now I get to tag three people. But even if I don't tag you, if you want to do this magical tag, definitely do it. Consider yourself tagged. So boop, you were tagged. But I'm going to tag the Wild Sasha, Noria Reads, and Stephanie's Book Verse. But again, this tag is open for anybody to do. But as always, I would love to hear what you guys thought in the comments down below. And thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, hey, welcome. Feel free to hit that subscribe button if you want to join my small community of Harry Potter lovers and bookworms. And I will see y'all next time. Bye, guys. <laughs> tab. Tab. I know. I am shook. If you, if you watched my bookshelf tour, I pretty much said this is my favorite every time I talked about an item. Book Jenny. Movie Jenny. Hermione was the force. Ron was the relief. <laughs>